Look who's here. Master Sergeant is over here creating. Now he helped me do a lot of work in the shop this morning. We moved a bunch of stuff around. He is making the second boot jack. I was making him one and me one. Just out, just out of some scraps and some scrap leather. Uh, let me show you what he got. Like right to sneak in some hot pink leather, but he won't. He caught Yeah, he won't let. I I won't let him use hot pink leather on mine. So. <laughs> Now last year I bought me a set of snake boots, snake proof boots. I paid almost, if I remember right, right close to $200 for them. Now he looks around and looks around on some of the internet sites, the buy selling trades in the local area. And he found these, same brand as mine, redheads. Never been worn, but the guy wore them, what did you say, five times? Five times. Five times. Snake boots. What'd you pay? Twenty bucks. Yep. Yep. Twenty dollars. I hate you. But uh, anyway, <laughs> basically brand new snake boots for twenty bucks. So he's building a boot jack for his and and me one too. He's gonna paint mine and sand it and stain it and make it all nice and paint my name on it and <laughs> all right never mind he's gonna say something bad here <laughs> all right let's take a little shop tour of what we've done today I'm getting ready for the Christmas rush I moved everything around make it more uh, more what's that word easier more accessible yeah, more easier. All right. This is all the same. The big sanders here. I moved my metal cutting saw down here in line. I've got a lot more light. I wound up with a new light up here. Long story, but I got it. So, and that is the super bright LEDs. I can see way better over here with it. More better? More better, yeah. So that's going to stay there. We've got cut it, grind it, grind it, sand it, build it. The leather table, all that stuff. I showed you all that the other day. I moved the table saw down, further down in the shop. So I got more movement in here. I can move around better. And I also changed the stand on the metal cutting saw. Now that stand there had a um, had a little platform on the bottom of it and some dollies that I made to roll it. And it had my, my joiner, my planer joiner on it, which I almost never use. Since I cut the end of my finger off on it, this one here, I don't use it very much. Because I cut my finger off and got scared of it. So Plus I don't have a call for it a whole lot unless I'm woodworking. I uh, just got the router table slid over here in the corner out of the way. Got the generator over in the corner. Those are, that's the sander I rebuilt. And this is spare. And there's my spare scroll saw. Uh, radio alarm stayed where it was at because I don't use it a whole lot anymore. This will be another project to get all this cleaned out. This is uh, wood, a knife. Uh, handle material, hides, all kinds of stuff, uh, horns. I don't even know what all's there, so I got to go through that one day. And of course, the beer fridge has got to be there. That's the tactical beer fridge. So, and I got to clean that table off again, but all that stayed the same too. Just thought I'd give you a little shop tour and show you what we got going. I am organized enough now to get ready for Christmas time orders because um, once after this month is over with everybody's got the kids back in school 
uh, things will ease up a little bit I think and next trip I've got well I've got my hunting trip in the fall which I'm sort of struggling to get saved up for that because that's going to be a pretty good expense and I've got a couple of shorter trips I want to take I don't know if I'll be able to but uh, I'm surely going to try one of them I think I will be able to make because it's only like five hours away from here that's one tank of gas there one tank of gas back and it's in my state so I don't have to buy any kind of extra permits or anything Sergeant has been busy all summer with uh, two of my grandkids. Yep, he's had grandkids to take care of and look after and play with. And They're gone now, but I had them all summer. That's why I ain't been over here. They uh, they start school this week, next, next week. One of them lives down in Brandon. The other one lives in over here in Freeport, just a little bit down the road. So I get to see her quite often. The other one we have, she comes up oh, two or three times a year. Spends at least a week with us. Then the other two, my daughter, just the one that just come back from Korea, they moved out to Texas. So there will be a Texas trip in my trip planner. Don't mess with Texas. Won't be real soon, but we're going to go out that way. And They're in uh, San Antonio. So we're going to go out there and visit with them. And so I haven't been back to Lackland Air Force Base since 85. So I think I'm going to go down there and go through our museum and do a few other things while the wife and daughter shop <laughs> I'm keeping the credit card <laughs> she don't know that yet <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell us how that works out for you <laughs> now, remember bruise, when you remember bruises, when you go to sleep you know there's a <laughs> the bruises from the last time finally healed so <laughs> we'll see what happens this time Anyway, a lot of y'all have asked about Master Sergeant. Here he is. He's just fine. He's been busy, just like all of us. We're I all am, busy. I am still kicking. They're all busy. And he even has a J. Noel Skinner hanging around his neck. Yeah, and I made that one. Yeah, he made that one. I still don't have one. Every time I make one, I sell it. That's not my fault. No, you could make me one. I could do that. Yes, I could. <laughs> if you turn around and sell it. <laughs> Yeah, well. <laughs> it, uh, has been a, it has been a productive day, even with the rainstorm we had a little bit ago. Yep, yeah, we had a pretty good thunderstorm roll through. It didn't take long. It was, what, 20 minutes and it was gone? Yep. Cooled it down outside a little bit. Humidity was just awful. It is miserable. But... The way it's looking, long range weather and all that, it looks like we may have a winter time this year. Ooh, Lordy, I hope so. We want a winter time. We ain't had one in two years. Yep, we need some freezing temperatures and some frost and, and we need to camping weather with no rain. Yep. Every time we get a big rain that lasts a couple of days, I'll send him a message to say we need to go set the tent up. <laughs> Every time we go camping or anything like that, it rains. Every time. Even up at Ohio, even up at John's. Yeah, it would rain all week. The whole yep. week we was up there. Rained the whole time. But it was still fun. Oh, yeah. It's always fun. But all right, we'll quit rambling. And I'll show you all the boot jacks when they get done. Well, his is already done, I think. Yeah, mine is I think you're going to put some stain on it, ain't you, or something? No, man, I ain't staining it. Standing on it with them boots to just take it all off. That's pretty cool. And I had never seen a boot jack until we were up at John's. He's got one on the back porch there. I'd I never one, seen one. I got I one older than you and me together. It was my great grandfather. Yeah. 
and it was it, it's probably I don't know 24 inches long and got a V cut in it where instead of a instead of a U shape they cut a V shape in it and you just stood on it and run your boot back into it and pulled it off. These yeah. are more a little more fancy, more modern. But I saw John's on the porch. I, I kept wondering. I said, "What in the world is that?" And then I saw him walk up there, stick his boot in there, and pull that thing off. And I said, "Well, I'll be darn. How about that?" We're sort of slow down here in the south, but we'll catch up with every, everybody. Hey, what, yes. What, what's this we? You got a mouse in your pocket? <laughs> My neighborhood, anyway. Yeah. You know what they call the town I come from? Something. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about slow. <laughs> Alright. Well I'll show you all these here in just a little bit. Alright, boot jacks are done. Master Sergeant's gonna demonstrate for us. Just like that. So much easier than trying to bend over and do it. Well, come on there. And show you that they both work. All you do is just put your weight on the, on the block, on the wood, stick that in there and pull. That's it. Yep. Nothing to it. Just like that. But it sure beats bending over, and especially after you've been hiking all day long and them things. You try to get one off in a, in a tent, and your leg cramps up, and then you're like this. So, you yep. know. We've been there and done that. Yeah, we have. <laughs> so we made these deals. They're not fancy. They're not supposed to be. They're practical and they work. That's all that matters. Yep, that's just some scrap wood and some scrap leather. That's and all it was. That's all it is, scraps. I got red, but I couldn't get away with the pink. This yeah. Is. Yeah, I, I ain't going with hot pink. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Nope, not bad at all. Boot jacks were free. And the boots were 20 bucks. I couldn't beat that deal. I hate you. I know that. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> that, that's but it's because I didn't get a deal on boots like that. But yeah, but you got a deal on that boot jack. That yeah. Was free. Yeah. Just, I guess so. Just it didn't cost me anything for even. Well, you said a hundred dollars a while ago. Nah, I was joking. Okay. <laughs> but there it is. That's all it is. P two pieces of wood, some leather. Two screws, a bunch of little brad nails. That's it. You're gonna sand it down and paint my name on right. it and all mm -hmm. that on there. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> About uh, third Tuesday of next week, it ought to be done. Okay, I'll wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. We've had a big time today. Got a lot of work done. We've been very productive. And now we're gonna sit around and visit. And visit and. Talk about everybody. I'm ready for a ice cold soda pop myself. Soda pop, listen to him. But uh, <laughs> that's what they call it where I come from. Yeah, well, you know about what they say about people where you come from. Did you fired the still up out back yet? Oh, I'm, I wasn't supposed to say that. Was hey, I? don't say still. <laughs> that's not. No, don't say that. We okay. have revenueers all over the place down here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support. And we will see you later. Alright, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? There you go. <laughs>